Alright, so I know you guys have been seeing a lot of Destiny on my channel. Well, the only logical reason I can tell you, the most honest reason is... I'm enjoying this game. It's way better than the first one. First Destiny, there was way too much to do. Gun leveling, you had to level up each individual piece of armor, each individual weapon. Uh, you know, it's more simplified it's in this one. You got all your base mechanics, like leveling up the glimmer system, but shaders were changed up a little bit. Shaders are a limited use, a one-time use per, so you have to earn these as you go. It sucks, but I do see why they would do it. It's for their pay-to-win system. It's, it's not really a pay-to-win, it's more of a Destiny kind of paid currency. You get, like, skins and armor, and thankfully, yet, they don't have guns. I'm hoping that they don't add those. So I actually just unlocked the Nameless Midnight, which uh, you guys are seeing right here. I've never used this before. This is actually the first time I'm unlocking this gun and the reason why this is so sought after is because of its explosive round it does seem pretty powerful actually I won't lie now again if you guys are wondering what I'm doing why I'm replaying these missions this is my warlock character I still haven't I've dedicated so much time to my Titan that I haven't even gotten close to unlocking maximum for warlock or even hunter I have not touched the hunter yet I think I'm still only level 7 uh, at least with the Warlock on level 15, I'm more than halfway through the story. I don't know, I I really like the atmosphere of these missions with the, the dark forest and everything. It's so cool. If I remember correctly, we gotta go up to the shard? No, first we gotta kill the enemies. Oh, ho, 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 there's the cutscene. Is I don't know if this is the one where you throw that huge orb. Yeah, you do. Okay. So you jump up in the air and launch that huge overpowered f***ing orb. That would once one hit the raid boss. I remember Destiny 1. There was this massive glitch. Game breaking. We would use Voidwalker. Go up to uh, go up to the boss. There was some kind of thing you had to do uh, where you push them closer to the edge with a grenade, like a pull grenade or something. I don't think they have that for the warlock anymore. Uh, once you did that, you would use the ability, and that would just completely and push him off the edge, one shot him, and you would get all the rewards immediately for beating the raid. Pretty cool. Can't do it in this game. They got they got smart with that. Thankfully, another thing I wanted to talk about too as well is something that came up so unexpectedly this this hit me like I never even considered this until somebody somebody brought it up My girlfriend met one of these guys online and he said that he really wanted to meet me Oh, by the way shout out to uh, shout out to my girlfriend for actually getting this game for me for my birthday Because without that I would not have gotten destiny. Uh, you know, she completely surprised me with it I'm really thankful for that so I still shouldn't have done it because I'm really addicted to this game now But hey, what are you gonna do right? But anyways back to the story so I met the guy Go into a party, uh, you know, I give him my YouTube channel, he, the first thing he fucking says is, You do YouTube? Yep, I do YouTube. I give the guy my channel name, he searches it up, he calls his buddy into the party chat actually, and now there's four of us in there, my girlfriend and I, and these two guys. Uh, you know, they're checking out my Dying Light videos, because that's one of the first things that comes up on my channel as well, the ones that are actually doing really good. And then they go to my most recent videos, and this is where the story took a turn. I'm not kidding you, the first thing these guys say, dude. How come you don't get any views anymore? I, I'm i sorry, I did not know how to answer that. I just said, I, I don't know, I guess people just choose not to watch me anymore. They kind of got a little ahead of themselves, uh, claiming some stuff that actually aren't true. I will tell you guys right now, I do not do what I'm about to tell you I do. And they started accusing me of botting subscribers. What? Because I'm not getting the attention my channel used to get. These guys have the courage to say to me, dude, you're botting your subscribers. Why would you do that? Why? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're bu you're buying your subscribers. Get them off some website. Oh, there's no way you can get that little views and that many subscribers. It's called. Uh, there was a short period in my channel where I would pull 20,000 views a day, maybe even more. That decided to slow down. I'm not sure if it's because of the game change or the style of content my channel was based off of, changing into uh, commentaries, tutorials, really anything I feel like. These guys. Uh, weren't all that respectful after that. They uh, they started accusing a lot more sh and uh, in the end I just left the party. I left them and that was the end of that. I never talked to the guys again. They started, you know, making false claims. My girlfriend was about to freak out. Now, we both had to leave the party because she was going to freak out on these guys too. She was there from pretty early on when I was first uploading my Dying Light videos, so she supported me through my channel for quite a lot of time. But in the end, I want to tell you guys this, I do not bot subscribers, I would never buy my way into fame, that's just, I find that as a way of cheating. You know, if there were no other way, if there were no free way of buying subscribers, like if YouTube found a way to implement paying for subscribers, like monthly subscriptions to some kind of subscriber, I, I don't you know, I don't know where I'm going with this, but if Let's, okay, let's put it this way. If you could not earn subscribers anymore without having to pay for something, then that's the only way I would do it. But other than that, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. But I don't know, guys. 
It's just, I felt like my channel went on a decline ever since my Dying Light videos stopped. I feel like the Dying Light videos kind of sparked the growth in my channel, like, exponentially. One of my Dying Light videos, close to 1 million views, just one video alone. That's insane to even think about. That's crazy that I can help out so many people. And that's the reason why I feel like I've been getting so many views, is because these Dying Light videos, it was a test. I found so many little secret things in that game that I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna share it with everybody instead of just doing that for myself share them see how it goes and uh, I'm really glad I did because that is what helped my channel out greatly if it wasn't for that game I still felt like I would have been at close to only 2k subscribers rather than I think we're I think we're hitting close to 7,000 that's a bit of a short story that's kind of what happened with my channel and uh, what sparked this whole thing this this whole thought of mine like is my channel dead my answer to that is obviously no channels can never be dead unless they average zero views and that's not even within the first 24 hours that's just permanently like zero views you don't nobody watches any videos there's always going to be that one curious person to stumble upon your video that just wonders what it's about and to see how well the content is so with that being said guys there's a very important message and that is if you're starting a channel and you're only getting like three views four views a video your channel's not dead don't think that way. Keep going. Keep pushing. Do it for yourself. Do it for your own enjoyment because you like doing it. Don't feel forced to do anything just because of your subscriber count or your view count. You do you and that's the best thing you can ever do for your channel. That's the important message I wanted to bring to you guys today. So that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving and uh, yeah, thanks for supporting me guys throughout all these videos. I'll see you all in the next one.